I find a lot of times when patients come in and maybe they're 15 years from the time where their implants have been placed, they oftentimes tell me, doctor, I just feel like my implants are too big. I feel like they don't match my body or my lifestyle or even my clothing, and it just makes me feel heavy. There are a lot of different options for patients like that. I think it's really important to look at their tissue elasticity, look and see if their breast is really droopy or if their skin is really tight. What size is the implant and how much breast tissue do they have to start? Some patients can really get away with just removing the implant entirely. Other patients, it's different. They need to either downsize the implant or do some work to their capsule, which is the space where their implant used to reside, in order to tighten it up or make it smaller in order to be more congruent with the smaller implant that they're ultimately going to place. Probably the most challenging patient is the one who comes in and says, I had much bigger implants and I want to be much smaller now. A breast lift with repositioning of the nipple and areolar complex is the best way to achieve a patient's results uh, when they're downsizing from a much larger implant to a much smaller implant. Some patients just really want their implant out with yeah. a little bit of skin removed. Some patients can remove a larger implant and have a smaller implant and they don't need much skin removed. Maybe a little bit, whether it's from the lower portion of the breast or from an upper portion of the breast. Not every patient needs a breast lift.